taste this new death ray. Bearded Devil. Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We are 3D printing our way through the D&D Monster Manual. And today we have got monster number 51, the shock troops of the devil world, the Bearded Devil. Now I made a bit of an executive decision with this Bearded Devil and hopefully it won't come back to bite us later. You may remember that when we printed the demons, we found a set from Loot Studios that contained a number of the demons that we were going to print. And so we just purchased that whole set. And the same thing is true here. This Bearded Devil shows up in a loot pack called A Light in the Shadow. And that same pack has a number of devils that we're going to need to print. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to buy this whole set and we're going to start with this bearded devil and see where we end up. In terms of other bearded devils that you could choose from on my mini factory, there's this one from Jeremy Smith. That's a bit of a unique look. Uh, there's these guys. We actually looked at them in the barb devil episode. It's kind of a combo pack of bearded and barb devils. And the reason that I'm hoping that I don't uh, regret this decision is there's this really cool 10-pack from the Lion's Tower Adventures Guild. I don't think we've ever even seen anything of theirs, but it's got these 10 really cool poses uh, for bearded devils. And I really like the way they've got the kind of the helmets over the face, and so the beard just hangs out underneath. So this is a really cool one. If I wasn't going with this set from Loot Studios, I probably would have selected this one from Lion's Tower. But let's print out our bearded devil and see what we get. So in terms of printing, there were no failures. You can see he's got little fingers. He's got lots of uh, sharp bits uh, on his shoulders and such. There's lots of details. I think maybe his weapon here may have warped a little bit. But overall, it looks really good. Very successful print and a good option to drop on your table. In terms of size, you can see he is about six feet tall, so a good match for our human figures. So as we did with the demons when we're buying these packs from loot, I'm going to average the cost if you weren't a subscriber, which is 60 bucks, and the cost if you were a subscriber, which is 30 and so that gives us an average of $45 for all of the devils in this pack. In terms of print time, it was a little over four hours. And so our total cost for everything is now up to $480. And our total time is nine days and 16 hours. So this Bearded Devil from Loot Studios would make a great addition to any campaign. Next up, we are looking at the Taskmasters of the Nine Hells, the Bone Devil. 